Well, I just found a tick on my back. I was like, something feels like it's crawling on me. Oh, I hadn't had to use this in a while. Oh, oh that's going up slow. I think I need to replace the battery in that. <laughs> well, this one's still working fine. Good morning, Moo Moo. <laughs> you ready to get out and have your breakfast? Good chilly morning, everyone. It is 9 a.m. and it is 41 degrees, so it, we might be moving a little too fast. I just looked up the extended forecast and it said it was supposed to be 40s at night and um, 60s in the daytime, so. But I mean, it's nice. It's it's definitely sweater and coat weather. What, you think you need this? Go get it. <laughs> She's like a lizard. She wants to always come outside and eat her breakfast so she can enjoy the sun. She needs the sun to digest. She should make quick work of that and then I'll let her pee. We can get on the road. Well, morning traffic. We might want to let that subside a little bit before getting on the road. Are you done already? We'll go pee pee, go. Grab some gas before getting on the road. Our trip is about 45 miles, but I'm at a half a tank, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up. Oh, are you still sleepy? <laughs> Look all bundled up. Good thing we're right here at Walmart. Walmart is the cheapest gas, usually it is. Okay, $74 to fill up, and it was $2.99 a gallon. Yay, below three bucks. Choo-choo train. <laughs> so we decided to take back roads. We didn't want to get on the interstate and head through Charleston with the traffic and stuff this morning. So we are on 52. Heading west, we got 46 miles until our destination. So not a bad trip today. Well, that's a long choo-choo train. I didn't mention Jeff is in the lead today. Dave did decide to stay to back. He had some things to film. And he's going to meet us at camp later. Old Santee Canal Park. Continue on US Canal. Bypass North for two miles. I don't remember any of this stuff. Well, it has been probably <laughs> 10, 15 years since I've been here. Looks like it's grown up a little bit. St. Stephen's is 16 miles. Florence, 80. Gas here is 2.89 a gallon. Wow, we should have waited and got gas here. Oh, that looks like a tight, I hate when they make them tight like that harder for larger rigs to get in. The gas keeps getting cheaper. It's 281 here. I know, that's awesome. But like Jeff said, the gas is getting cheaper and cheaper. Uh, 281 here and diesel is 389. Doesn't seem like diesel's really dropping much. Which is weird because when I used to live in South Carolina, uh, diesel used to be cheaper than regular gas. That's been a while ago, but take the next right onto US 17 Alternate North. All right, getting back on 
alternate 17. Continue for 30 miles. We're heading towards Georgetown, which is 50 miles away. We're not going to go all the way to Georgetown. The campsite is before Georgetown. It's actually on regular 17 in between. Uh, in between Georgetown and Charleston. Jamestown, 20 miles, Georgetown, 49. Oh, look at Smiley sign with a wink on that <laughs> old dish there. We just got into Francis Marion State Forest. It's a beautiful, thick wooded area. We're about 20 miles from our campsite, and it is in the Francis Marion Forest. I will say the ground is kind of soppy, and I've seen big puddles everywhere, so hopefully that's not a telltale sign that it's going to be wet and muddy at the camp spot. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Well, this is why it could be wet in this area. Look, I think this is marshland here. It's completely covered in water on both sides. Welcome to the small southern town of Jamestown. South Carolina. We're about 12 miles from our campsite. Oh god, that roof was off that building to the right there or left, sorry. Gas here is whoa. 321. Wow, they're trying to it's 311 for cash, but 321 for credit. That's a big difference from back there where it was 2.99. So we're about a mile and a half from our camping area. There are some homes here. And a horse ranch. <laughs> but I don't see any stores. I don't believe there's anything close by, not that I can remember. So I wanted to stock up. But I always do have the truck I can take off and go get stuff. I'm not sure how internet is here. Hopefully good. <laughs> well, well, we're almost there. Half a mile. I've actually never come in this way. I'm always coming in from the opposite way because it was usually either from Myrtle Beach or Georgetown, Charleston area. Come in the back way this time. Ooh, for sale. Property. Okay, here we are. Francis Marion National Forest. I think I might have called it a state forest before. And this is 14 day camping national forest area. Honey Hill. I've been here before. I think the last time I was here was four years ago with Terry and Scott. You have arrived. It's a big circle. Just pull her out. Oh, it might be busy. I don't see any spots available so far. Oh, well, there's one here to the left. expect it to be so busy. <laughs> they had their laundry out. Jeff, there's also parking in the middle too. Except it's more shaded there. Um, yeah, if you want to pull back around, I guess. Because there's the last camp spot on this side. Yeah, you can pull in there. There's a pit toilet here and an old fire tower that you can no longer go up. They did remove 
the first set of stairs, but it looks like they changed that. They put the stairs back in and they completely fenced it off. Maybe you can go up it now. Maybe they still use it. Huh? Yep, they do have it locked up. But like I said, they had these first set removed and I think people still tried to climb up there to go up. They got the barbed wire and everything too now. It's 2019, that's the 14-day notice. Oh, the 14-day notice, yeah. I think people were abusing the site because it's so far from town and it doesn't get patrolled regularly. So they probably put that rule up there just so people know it's 14 days. It seems like there's a camping spot here, but very shaded. It is very peaceful here. Mm -hmm. It's so far from town. There's a camp spot seven and eight. So right next to the campground is a dirt road that heads that way. I've hiked this before. It is nice and peaceful to go on a hike down that road. Just listen to the birds chirping. On the other side of the road, there is another dirt road. This is Honey Hill. And it is marked 219. Yeah, there is a mailbox, so I'm not sure. I don't think this is a private road. It would be marked private. Yeah, there, if you like, there are the power lines that go there. I think they need a new sign here. You can barely read it. I can make out wildlife management area, US Forest Service, uh, South Carolina. I can't make out this top part here. Let's say, maybe that's, uh, it's its name or something. Whoa. I, I can't tell. Well, I just found a tick on my back. I was like, something feels like it's crawling on me. So I reached back there and I felt something and I scrapped, scraped it and it was a little tiny tick. Now I'm paranoid and looking at my camp chair because it's furry. Like are any ticks hiding in here? <laughs> Luckily it hadn't burrowed in yet, but I put it on my counter and burnt it and it popped. Anyways, I've got to keep a watchful eye on the dogs and ourselves too. Don't want to be getting bit by ticks. Welcome to the forest of South Carolina. Yeesh. We are in the forest. We just got to keep an eye on the doggies. Right, Moomin? Mean, no ticks on any of us. So yeah, we'll definitely keep an eye out for that. And this is going to make an awesome like base camp because it's probably about... 45 minutes, 50 minutes from Myrtle Beach, and same with Charleston. Or I think it might be a little longer to Myrtle Beach, like an hour. The ranger just came by. He was parked at the bathroom for a little bit, and then he came around and he waved at us. I was worried since this site wasn't numbered that he might ask us to move on, but he did not. And after looking around, I noticed that there had been a campfire here, so people have camped here before. I do like it because it's the sunniest spot. Getting ready for nachos tonight, and the shredded pork is almost done. We got the white cheddar tortilla chips. Those are going to taste yummy with the nachos. Got some mild salsa. I cut up some onions, tomatoes, the shredded cheese, and some sour cream. I think that should be it. Nachos. some lettuce just to have some greenery there we go and of course some meat Lots of meat. Cheese. More cheese. Onions. Some fresh tomatoes. We also have salsa. Fresh tomatoes. Salsa. 
salsa. Mild salsa. Last but not least, plop of sour cream. I like sour cream, so I'm going to do like two big plops of mine. Well, maybe three. Okay. Do you want more than one plop of sour cream? No, that's fine. Okay. I thought you Kellogg were... laying down eating. Look at you. Just laying down, relaxing and eating. Momo does the same thing too. Mm -hmm. She'll just lay there. She'll also lay there and drink water. <laughs> Okay, the nachos are done, and we have some leftover coconut cake for dessert. Yum, yum. Well, looky, looky, who finally made it. <laughs> Steve and his son. There's a spot ahead of us, too. Hey, Bella. <laughs> hey, Dave. Well, everybody's made it here safe and sound, and the day is almost over. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Hopefully in the next video we can do some exploring in the area, the surrounding areas. Maybe go back to Charleston or, or whatever, just see what's around here. I want to thank you all for checking out the video, and we'll see you next time. If you want to check out more videos, they'll be over here. Or if you want to subscribe, it'll be right there. Boop! Just hit that button. And this is for Patreon. Bye, guys.